Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Welcome to New Directions Apostolic Ministry Live. Amen. We are so glad you stopped by here today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. We thank God for what he's doing in your lives. I hope that all is well with you. I hope that you've been getting along well within the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for answering prayer. Amen. I thank God for watching out over you all. Amen. Praise the Lord, Sister McKenzie. I thank God that he touched your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was so grateful to hear, um, although I didn't speak to you, but hear my wife talking to you the other day. Amen. Hallelujah. And I can hear how joyful you sounded. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God. Hallelujah. He is a still, he's still a wonder working God. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Um, this lesson today, we're going to continue in the vein of salvation. Amen. So uh, 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 Tuesday night, we, we, we started a lesson on salvation. Amen. Tonight, we're going to look at uh, Christ. Jesus Christ is the one who provides salvation for us. Amen. If it had not been for him, we would still be lost and dead in trespasses and sin. Amen. But God answers prayer. God delivered us and started us on this right path. Amen. Amen. So Christ provides salvation. So um, let's go right into prayer. Amen. We want to remember the McKenzie family. Amen. We want to remember those that are bereaved. We want to remember God's people everywhere called by his name. Hallelujah. Thank God for Sister Vicki. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to remember also Sister Anna. You know, she's in Oregon with her children um, visiting in there, you know. Uh, we want to pray that God grants direction for her. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. She's seeking, you know, the Lord's guidance. Amen. We're going to pray for her that God uh, 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 directs her in the path that she should go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We want to also remember uh, 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 Brother Brandon Hardy. Amen. Sister Montrese Hardy. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord God, you know, Lord God, all things. And we know that there is nothing that's too hard for you, Lord. Any other requests, put it in the comment section if you want. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember those, Lord God, in Mississippi as well. Pastor Donaldson and his family, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Remember your people everywhere, Lord God, called by your name. Lord God, we thank you for your kindness. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity to come before you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. I don't come asking anything, Lord God, but help for your people, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for them, Lord God. I pray for the families, Lord God, that are on. I pray, Lord God, for the congregations that are on, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for your people everywhere called by your name, Lord God. Lord God, have your way, Lord God, in our lives, Lord God. We need you, Lord. We need your word, Lord God. We need your blood, Lord God, <coughs> in the name of Jesus. Lord God, have your way with your people, Lord, I thank God for Pastor Pastor Lionel uh, Peterson, Lord God, in the name of Jesus and his wife, Joy. I pray, Lord God, you will continue to bless them, Lord God, in a special way, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Have your way. Bless those, Lord God, who are standing up on your for your word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to speaking and preaching the unadulterated word of God, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you will strengthen, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you will direct, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for all those that are sick, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, who, re who are requiring, Lord God, a special touch from you, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you would strengthen them, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you would heal them, God. I pray, Lord God, for your people that are bereaved, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen the hearts of your people. Comfort as only you can, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord God. And as we go into your word, I pray for all those that you would open up our minds, our hearts, and our understanding concerning your word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. We praise you. We honor you, Lord God. Now have your way from this moment forward. We totally depend on you, Lord God, to bring this lesson out, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, you would just have your way, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I hope you can hear me well. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Brother Julius. We, we continue to lift you up, you and your wife. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Sister Gracie. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So again, this lesson today, we're dealing with Christ. He provides salvation. Amen. So Tuesday night, again, we started in salvation. So we're going to continue. Amen. Hebrews chapter number uh, 
uh, uh, 9, amen, let me fix something here. Hebrews chapter number 9, verse number 22. It lets us know almost, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Amen. There is no remission without the shedding of blood. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Leviticus uh, uh, 17 and 11 lets us know, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. Amen. The life of our flesh is in the blood. Amen. Think about it. Every time you go to the doctor, they want to know, they want to take some blood. Amen. Because your blood will let them know, amen, what's going on on the inside. Your life, you know, your life being, amen, is in the blood. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It will let you know, let them know what's working in your body. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. By the blood test that they do. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He says here, uh, you know, that the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. Talking about those sacrifices, amen, that were given, those offerings that were given back in the old economy, the Old Testament, amen. For the life, okay, uh, uh, um, where am I? Well, he says, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement. Amen. We talked about that the other night. We're going to continue talking about the atonement. Amen. Hallelujah. For your souls. Amen. For it is the blood that maketh atonement for the soul. It's the blood that was shed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, again, we're continuing on. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter number 12, verse number 13, and the blood shall be to you for a token, amen, upon the houses where you are, amen. So not only does it atone for sins, but it also protects those. In fact, in Exodus, you know, that's just before God was uh, going to deliver the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt. They had to choose a lamb for their house. Amen. In fact, they chose a lamb on the on the tenth day, and they were to keep it unto the fourteenth day. And then they were on the fourteenth day, they were to, to 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 slay the lamb, and they took the blood, and they were instructed to put it on the doorpost of the house. And wherever the blood was applied, amen. Then the deaf angel passed over that house. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And as we get into this more, you're going to see God's purpose for it all. We're going to see how God worked through it all. Amen. How he provided salvation for mankind. Amen. And, 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 and made us ready to be acceptable to him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. By way of the blood that he, uh, that was shed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So it goes on to say here, um, the blood I will pass over. Well, let me go back. And the blood shall be a to uh, to you for a token upon the house where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague, amen, shall not be upon you to destroy you. Listen at that. The plague. There's a plague in the land today. And it's by the blood we're delivered because of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He says when he sees the blood, he'll pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. Amen. When I, when I, when I smite the land of Egypt. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Let's look at this. This word salvation. Salvation. What does it mean here? It comes from the Hebrew word, Yeshua, where we get Jesus. So Jesus' name in and of itself means salvation. Jesus is the one who brings salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We looked last week, and I believe it comes up again, Genesis 3.15, where uh, the first messianic prophecy was given to the people of God. Amen. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter number 3, verse 15. Hallelujah. God promised deliverance to the people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we see here 
that was by way of Jesus Christ. And it unfolds as you go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thinking about that, that hermeneutics, uh, uh, the first mentioned principle, how God, he establishes a fact, amen, in the word of God. And from that point on, as the it begins to unfold, things become clearer and clearer concerning whatever uh, 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 thing that God sets in motion. The first mentioned principle, amen. Hallelujah. So here, it's a this word, Yeshua, it's a feminine noun meaning salvation, deliverance, help, uh, uh, victory, pro uh, prosperity. The primary meaning is to rescue from distress or danger. It is used to, uh, to signify help given by other human beings. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the, check the references. 1 Samuel 14, 45, 2 Samuel 10 and 11. Help or security uh -huh, offered by fortified walls, delivering in the sense of preventing what would have been or would have happened if the walls were not there. Isaiah 26 and 1. Amen. God has a way of protecting his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I like this last part. Uh, 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 help or securing offered, all right, uh, a security offered uh, by fortified walls. God sets walls all around his people. Hallelujah. By way of the blood. Hallelujah. Delivering in the sense of preventing what would have happened if the walls were not there. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Think about your life. Think about where you've been. Think about the kind of trouble you were in and how God always seems to, to, to protect his people from destruction. Hallelujah. Or things that would destruct. Amen. Or cause destruction. Amen. In your life. Hallelujah. It could have been a lot worse. Amen. What you're going through. But God. Hallelujah. But God, he always protects his people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, one's welfare and safety, Job 30 and 15. Salvation by God with reference to being rescued by him from physical harm. Amen. Exodus uh, 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 14, 34. Amen. And then 2 Chronicles 20 and 17. Check these references. Amen. Thank you, Jesus being rescued from the punishment due to sin. Amen. I'm not going to read out all these scriptures. Amen. But you see it there on the screen. Uh-huh. Do a screenshot. You go back and look at these verses. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Used in the plural, it signifies works of help. Hallelujah. And God's salvation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, and then this word kippur. Amen. I had a, a slide in here and I removed it, but uh, 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 last week on, by, I think it was the fifth of October, uh, the Jews they celebrated uh, uh, Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement. Hallelujah. This word atonement. Hallelujah. The Day of Atonement to the Jews in the Old Testament, it was once a year. Hallelujah. Now. We have atonement by way of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our sins have been atoned for. Our sins have been remitted. Hallelujah. So we're just going to look at a few words here. Hallelujah. As we go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Trying to give you a, a, a better understanding of what God has accomplished for us through by way of his salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So Kippur, it's a verb meaning to cover to forgive, to expiate, amen, to expiate, to reconcile, hallelujah. We're familiar with the term reconcile. We're conf uh, uh, familiar with the, with the term of uh, forgiveness, amen, to expiate, to take away, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This word is of supreme theological importance in the Old Testament as it is central to an Old Testament understanding of the remission of sins. Amen. Amen. So we hear remissions, Acts 2.38, when one is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, is for the remission of sins, the removal of sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is our deliverer. He's the one who provided salvation for us. Hallelujah. So as we go on, 
at its most basic level, the word conveys the motion of covering, but not in the sense of merely concealing. It's not just merely concealing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not just merely concealing what was there. Hallelujah. Hiding it. Hallelujah. No. God takes away our sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Rather, it suggests the imposing of something to change its appearance or nature. See, when you were baptized in Jesus' name, it wasn't just merely covering or, or just, you know, uh, 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 covering your sins. It was, as he says here, rather it's, you know, it suggests the imposing of something to change. Amen. To change its appearance or nature. Amen. We have a new nature now. Hallelujah. Because of the baptism in Jesus' name, we've been changed. Hallelujah. God no longer sees us as a sinner. He sees us as covered with the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he goes on to say, it is therefore employed, amen, to signify the cancellation, the writing over. He's canceled out the judgment that was upon us because of sin. Because the, the scripture lets us know that the wages, the payment for sin is death. Amen. But the gift of God came through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's the cancellation, the writing over of a contract. That which Old Testament is the Old Covenant, Old Contract. Amen. The New Covenant, hallelujah. We, uh, we enter into this new agreement by way of the new birds, hallelujah. 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 God has provided it, but you got to apply it. Hallelujah. The appeasing of anger. God's anger was appeased. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And the overlaying of wood with pitch so as to make it waterproof. Amen. We see that in Genesis when God had Noah build an ark, amen, to save, you know, those who would believe, which was Noah and his wife, his three sons and their wives. Eight souls were saved by water. But as they built the ark, they used pitch on the ark to make it waterproof that would enable or sustain them, amen, that would sustain them through the flood. Hallelujah. 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 God takes care of our lives. Hallelujah. It says, hallelujah. I don't know if you're getting it like this, if you're getting it, but look at this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The word also communicates God's covering of sin. Uh, uh, persons made... Um, made reconciliation with God. Thank you, Jesus. We look at 2 Corinthians 5, 17. We are now reconciled to God. Hallelujah. 17 through the end of the chapter. Amen. We've been reconciled. Amen. Persons made reconciliation with God. That's now we're, we're back in fellowship. Hallelujah. Sin separates. You know, sin separates. That's why salvation was needed. Because when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, uh, 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 Everyone born after that, Eve was being the mother of all living. Everyone born after that was born in sin, shaped in iniquity, according to Psalm 51. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we had need of a Savior. We, need, we, had, we had need of salvation. Here it is. God has reconciled us back to himself. Amen. So it says, uh, 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 persons made reconciliation with God for their sins by imposing uh, something that would appease the offended party, that being God, hallelujah, and in, in, in this case, the Lord, and covered the sinners with righteousness, amen. It's not our own righteousness. God applied, he imputed righteousness to us, amen. We don't deserve righteousness. We, we inherit righteousness because of the new birth, hallelujah. In the Old Testament, the blood of sacrifices are most notably imposed, Exodus 30 and 10, amen, by the imposing or the imp imposition, amen, sin was purged. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The, the offenses were removed. Amen. 
leaving the sinners clothed in righteousness. Of course, the imposition of the blood of bulls and of goats could never fully cover our sins. We see that in, in the book of Hebrews. Hallelujah. It's not, he said, it was impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away our sins, but his own precious blood. Hallelujah. But with the coming of Christ, the imposition of his shed blood, a perfect atonement was made. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. A perfect. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, we are quoted, and, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bru bruise thy head. And that happened at Calvary. Jesus bruised the head of Satan at Calvary, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That happened at Calvary. It's not, no, it's not applied to women. Hallelujah. It's not, hallelujah. I know we like to take scriptures and twist them and, and, and make it say what it's not saying. No, stick to the scriptures. Stick to the word of God. Hallelujah. Don't change it. Hallelujah. Don't add to it. Don't take away from it. Stick to the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is what it is. Hallelujah. First Peter 1 Peter 1.18, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with, with corruptible things as silver and gold from, from your vain conversation, your conversation meaning your way of life, your lifestyle, received by the tradition from your fathers. Amen. We received our lifestyle by tradition from our fathers. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you know how we say, man, I'm just like my father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, 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 we go around with this badge of honor like I'm just like my father. My father was, was a rolling stone. Papa was a rolling stone. You know, uh, that old song, Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And if we grow up trying to be just like Papa, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just know that God was not pleased with Papa in his natural state. Hallelujah. All man must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. And in doing so, we receive uh, uh, new natures. Hallelujah. He gives us a new nature. Hallelujah. We're not carrying around that arbitrage that was once uh, uh, burdening in us. Hallelujah. Now we have this new nature at work. Hallelujah. And now we can please God. Now we're reconciled to God. And he has He's, he, he has saved us at that point from the wrath to come. Hallelujah. I hope you're getting it. I hope you're getting it. Hallelujah. First Peter 1 Peter 1.19, but with the precious blood of Christ. It wasn't, you know, the corruptible things that, of this world that redeemed us. No, it was a precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just like they, they found those, or, you know, they, they, they raised up those. It wasn't just a, a, a coincidental find. They raised up, hallelujah, those five red heifers to be offered up in the in the temple, hallelujah, which, you know, uh, they planned, I saw one video, they planned to have a, 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 a fully erected temple by April of 2023, you know, that's what they said. They they said that 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 in in doing so, uh, they could raise that thing up, that new temple, the third temple, in I think it said like three months. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. They could it could be done in three months. Hallelujah. But we know that all things are going to be done in God's time. Thank you, Sister Odom. Hebrews chapter number ten, verse number five, uh, four through five. Amen. But here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Look at what God's doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're ready. Uh, I saw a, 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 a video um, uh, showing that the, that the 600 Levites, hallelujah, they were rehearsing in Jerusalem, rehearsing, hallelujah, uh, songs that they were singing at the third temple. Hallelujah. Then I saw another one. It was uh, water of libation. Amen. Thank you. Taking the water and they, and, and you know, they, they, they're, you know, they take the water and they were uh, uh, they raise it up before the people. Amen. They were on the move. We see all these things. We see this convergence of all these things happening right in our own time, right in our own lifetime. All these different things happening. Violence has filled the land. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. 
Look at, as Jesus said, as it was in the days of Lot. Hallelujah. Look what was going on in Lot's generation, in Lot's day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, as, and as it was in the days of Noah. What was going on in Noah's day? Hallelujah. Go back to the Word of God. Go back to Genesis and, 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 and look at what was happening uh, in, 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 in Lot's generation. Hallelujah. What was going on there? What did God do uh, concerning uh, 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 Lot? Amen. We just talked about it. Eight souls saved by water. Lot built the ark. Amen. Hallelujah. The ark. He built an ark to save himself from the wrath of God in that day. Hallelujah. Lot and his daughters had to escape the land of Sodom and Gomorrah because God was going to rain out judgment, and he did, on that, on, on, on that, that those, not only Sodom and Gomorrah, but also the surrounding cities were destroyed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He said, as you see, he said, as it was in the days of Lot and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. So what do we have? We have violence that's filled the land. And, you know, what Lot's generation. We see the, the, the you know, what was going on, all the, all, the, uh, all the abomination that was going on in Sodom. Uh, uh, we see all those things happening right now, right in front of our faces. Hallelujah. It's all in your face. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is not playing. You better stop playing too. Amen. I, a friend of mine, the plumber, stop playing. That was his, his handle on, on something. Stop playing. You need to stop playing. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Thank you, Sister Odom. Luke chapter number 17, verses 26 through 29. Read it. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb that was slain, amen, without blemish or spot. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Verse number 20. Hallelujah. For verily was the foreordained, all this was foreordained before the foundation of the world. Amen. All this that we see happen at, with Jesus and Calvary, all of those things were foreordained, foreordained before the foundation of the world. Amen. God went... When he when he when he uh, spoke in Genesis three uh, fifteen uh, that all that stuff that sin that entered in in the Garden of Eden that didn't take God by surprise because he's Peter's letting us know all that was was taken care of before the foundation of the world before he made the world before he made man before he made every animal he had already uh, in his mind uh, 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 provided salvation. Thank you, Jesus, but was manifest in these last times for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Revelations 13 and 8. But all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb. That's Jesus. The Lamb is Jesus. Contrary to what they're saying these days, the Lamb is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And if your name is not written in the book of the Lamb, amen, he's letting you know uh, all those who dwell on the earth shall worship him. Who? The beast. Hallelujah. In Revelations 13, he's talking about the beast, the Antichrist. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to bow down and worship him. If your name is not written in the, uh, the book of life of the Lamb, how that was slain before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. That's the point being made there. Hallelujah. If you're going to escape, your name's got to be written in the book. And how does it get written there? By way of you applying the blood of Jesus to your life. Hallelujah. He's made a way. Salvation is free. It's there. It's, it's available. Your deliverance is available. But it doesn't happen until you apply the blood to your life. Hallelujah. Uh, St. John chapter number 3, verse number 16. Uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
Hallelujah. That everlasting life comes through salvation. Hallelujah. Deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's available, but you must apply it to your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 1 John 3, 16. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us. Hallelujah. Jesus laid down. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hereby we perceive we. We understand the love of God because what? He laid down his life for us. Hallelujah. Jesus laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We don't see a lot of that anymore. Hallelujah. Brothers laying down their lives for their, for their, their, their brothers and sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. We ought to have the same mindset that Jesus had. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, help us. Hallelujah. 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 First John 4 and 16. Hallelujah. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love, amen, who, he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. If you're not dwelling in love, if you're not living in love, hallelujah, dwell, live, hallelujah. If you're not living and walking in love, Hallelujah. God's not in you. Hallelujah. What he's saying here, it's quite clear. Hallelujah. It's quite clear. Hallelujah. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. In God in him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, it's possible to get off track. It's possible to, to, to walk away. Hallelujah. Not walk in love. Hallelujah. Not hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's possible. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Romans 5 and 5. Hallelujah. But hope maketh not a shame. Why? Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which he has given unto us. Hallelujah. The love of God is there. It's shed abroad in our hearts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 5, 19. To wit, that God was in Christ, what? Reconciling the world. Hallelujah. Through, by way of his son. Hallelujah. Reconciling the world. Hallelujah. Unto himself. Hallelujah. Providing the necessary. Hallelujah. That which was necessary. The antidote that was necessary to be back in fellowship with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look around how wicked things that are right now. Hallelujah. We need a savior. Hallelujah. The world needs a savior. Hallelujah. It's not going to get any better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your only way out is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You want to escape the wrath of God? You want to escape before it's too late? You got to turn to the blood of Jesus. You got to appeal to the blood. You got to apply the blood to your life. Hallelujah. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And from that point on, live in a holy and overcoming life. Hallelujah. Obedient to the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To the epistles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's your only escape. Hallelujah. That's your only way out. Hallelujah. There is no other way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> hallelujah, Christ, hallelujah, reconciling the world into himself, not imputing, not imputing their trespasses, not uh, uh, imputing, hallelujah, their trespasses unto them and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. That which I'm speaking to you now is the word of reconciliation. I'm giving you the word so that you might be reconciled back to God. Those, if you don't know him in the pardoning of your sins, you can be reconciled back to God. That's what I'm doing. I'm giving you, he has, because he has committed unto me, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm one of the us's right there in that verse. Because he has committed unto me the ministry of reconciliation and the word of reconciliation, therefore I'm giving it to you. Hallelujah. It's the word of God. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 21, for he has made him to be sin for us. Talking about Jesus. 
God has made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin? He didn't know any sin. There was no guile found in him. But he became sin for us. Uh huh. Who knew no sin, that we might be made righteousness, amen, the righteousness of God in him. Thank you, Jesus. We are the righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Odom, St. John chapter 14, verse number 6. Amen. Read those in the comment section. Whenever scriptures come to mind, hallelujah, put it in the comment section. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So again, another word here, reconciliation. Uh-huh. This word here means to reconcile. Reconciliation. Uh, uh, restoration. Exchange. A change of reconciliation from a state of enmity between persons, you know, to one of friendship. Amen. So you, you're no more an enemy of God. You, you've been reconciled because, he says here, between God and man. Amen. Enmity. There's no, that, that state of, of, of enmity that separates us, that enemy, you know, uh, we're no longer enemies to, to, to God. He says here again, a change or reconciliation from a state of enmity, that means to be divided, to be something's going on there that keeps us at odds with one another. Amen. God is taking care of that. Amen. That's why it's important that even we walk in the Spirit. Amen. So we won't go around offending one another. Hallelujah. We're not to be offending one another in our speech, in our deeds, and none of that. Hallelujah. We need to walk uprightly before God because we all belong to him. Hallelujah. All souls belong to God. And we especially who are of the household of faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We should not, hallelujah, be walking this enmity and all that. God did away with all that. Amen. So then, if he's done away with it, we need to reconcile. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. oh, oh. So he goes on to say, between God and man. It is the result of apolutrosis, amen, redemption, the divine act of salvation, the ceasing of God's wrath. Now look at here. What God has done, what, he's, what he has provided us with, it lets us know that redemption is a divine act of salvation. In this last uh, phrase here, the ceasing of God's wrath, amen. That got me to thinking, if it's the ceasing of God's wrath when we enter into this, this covenant with God through new, the new birth, amen, through salvation, amen, we've been redeemed, that means there was a ceasing of God's wrath on us, amen. Now, we know that the, 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 you know, the, the soon tribulation period, God is pouring out his wrath on the world, on the unrepentant world. Why would God go through all this to save us from the wrath of God, amen, according to the word of God, we've been saved from wrath to come, amen, and then turn around and send those in whom he has reconciled, send us to back in the wrath that's to come. It doesn't make sense, amen. It doesn't make sense. God has saved us from the wrath to come. He's not going to send his bride through the wrath when he just delivered us from the wrath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for truth. Amen. In the New Testament, it means reconciliation, i.e. restoration to divine favor by bringing out or bringing about a change in man. In conversion, there is a change that takes place. Hallelujah. According to Romans 5, 11 and 11, 15. The means or occasion of reconciling the world to God. So thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Stick with the word of God. Hallelujah. Stick with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 1 Peter 2, 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body. Hallelujah. Who his own self, Jesus, bear our sins in his own body on the, on the tree, which was the cross, that we, 
being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes we were healed. Hallelujah. You, you were healed by his stripes, according to Isaiah 53. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Healed. Four words I want you to consider that I've been talking about in this, in, in this lesson. Substitution, Isaiah 53. Uh, propitiation, Romans 3.25. Hallelujah. Redemption, Romans 3.24. And there's other places. Hallelujah. This is just a, a few, you know. Hallelujah. If you look up any of these, any of these words, you'll find multiples of scriptures all throughout the Bible. The Bible is complete. Hallelujah. It's a thread. You see a red crimson thread running through the whole Bible. It's all about salvation. Hallelujah. Redemption. Hallelujah. Reconciliation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Propitiation. That thread runs through the whole Bible. Hallelujah. That's what it's all about. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Reconciliation. Hebrews 2 and 17. Thank you, Lord. Lord, help us. Lord, help us to put what matters to you first. What really matters to you, help us to keep that first, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless your people. I pray for all of them everywhere, Lord God, those that are called by your name, who have stepped aside, Lord God, on you, Lord God. Pull them back, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hebrews 9 and 12. Neither by the blood of goats, the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Hallelujah. It wasn't the blood of bulls and goats. Hallelujah. Goats and calves in the Old Testament is by his own blood. He entered in once into the holy place. Hallelujah. And the tabernacle, the temple, he entered in once. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Into heaven itself, offering up himself. Hallelujah. In our place. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to turn around and walk away from this. I'm going to turn around and mistreat one of my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You had to climb back over Calvary. Hallelujah. To go back to doing things the way they used to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God for where I am today. I thank God for his word. I thank God for what he's doing in my life. Hallelujah. I pray for all of you. Hallelujah. That you be reconciled back to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Help us. Help us, Lord God. Hallelujah. You have provided eternal salvation for us. He, hallelujah. Eternal redemption for us. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord God, to apply that which all of that to our lives. Hallelujah. Verse number 13. For if the blood of bulls and of goats, hallelujah. And let me say this right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While I'm thinking about it. Hallelujah. That, 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 that songwriter wrote that song. He was trying to, trying to rap. Hallelujah. And I, I understand what they say that, 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 you know, what he was implying that Jesus is the greatest of all times, but Jesus is also the lion. He's the lion and the lamb. Hallelujah. We just read about the lion in, 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 in St. John chapter number one, uh, 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 verse number 29. He's the lamb of God. Hallelujah. Also, he's the lamb. Hallelujah. We are, and, we're, and that's what we're reading about. His blood that was shed at Calvary. He presented himself as the lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Hallelujah. So Jesus is the lamb and he's the lion. Hallelujah. And this, this fellow said, uh, uh, he's singing and said that, 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 uh, 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 that the lion and the lamb is going to bow down to the goat. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's not possible. If Jesus is the lion and the lamb, and then you're saying that he's the greatest of all time, he's the goat, how, how is, the, how is, the, how is the, uh, Jesus going to bow down to himself? Hallelujah. Not possible. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We, we need to stick with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Stick with the word of God, what it's saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stick with the word. And you better, you better know the word, too. I'm talking to all you all that are on here. You need to know the word. 
Hallelujah. You need to word, know the word of God and rightly divide it. Hallelujah. Stick with the scriptures. I don't care how beautiful a song sounds. I don't care how worked up you are. Oh, the beat got you going. And, oh, I'm singing. And you just, uh, no, stick with the word of God. Check it against the word of God. If you hear anything, hallelujah, these songs that they're singing, these all these new songs, you got to go back. I was telling my wife today on the way to church, I said, honey, we, we need to like, uh, when you listen to these new songs, you need to like check it first. Make sure they're sticking with the word of God. Hallelujah. It may, it may sound beautiful. Hallelujah. You might even hear angels chirping and singing and stuff. But if it's not according to the word of God, get away from it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stick with the scriptures, what's been revealed. That's all we need. Hallelujah. We don't need to make up. We don't need to add to. We don't need to take away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My wife put a scripture in there, Deuteronomy chapter number four the other night when we were dealing with that. Hallelujah. About the word of God. Hallelujah. Don't take away from it. Hallelujah. That's mentioned in, 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 in uh, Revelation, but it also mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number four. Thank you, Lord. So it goes on, it's not possible for the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heifer. Amen. Sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purif uh, purifying of the flesh. And I just talked about the ashes of the red heifer. I just talked about the five red heifers that they raised up in Texas and they, and they, and they, and they, and they uh, on a cargo plane sent them to Egypt. So the Jews, when they get ready, when they uh, uh, build their third temple, which is upon us, amen, they'll be able to offer up those red heifers, take the ashes, and it says here, for the sprinkling of the unclean, amen. So the priests that are going to offer up these sacrifices, they must be sprinkled because right now they're unclean, amen. They must be sprinkled with the ashes, amen. Thank you, Lord. Sanctified to the purification of the flesh, amen. It. Stick with the scriptures. The word of God is playing out right before our eyes. Hallelujah. And we're none the wiser. Hallelujah. Stick with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Hebrews 9.14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge our conscience from dead works, to serve the living God. Thank you, Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus. And, 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 and I was talking to one of the brothers yesterday, one of the ministers, my hallelujah, we were just sharing about, we were talking about the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the conversation got all heated and hot about the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. They don't sing blood songs. We don't hear enough preaching anymore about the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood that takes away sins. Hallelujah. We need to preach and stick, preach and teach is saying the word of God, hallelujah, the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. It's all about the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, it's the blood that makes atonement for the souls, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we started off with that verse in Hebrews 9, 22. Hallelujah, without the shedding of blood. It's not the blood of bulls and goats. It's the blood of Jesus. Without his shedding of blood, there is no remission. There is no reconciliation. There is no propitiation. Hallelujah. There is no hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, help us. First John 1 and 5. Then, this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you. This is the message. What I'm teaching now, this is the message, which we've heard of him, and I declare unto you that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. Hallelujah. I declare it unto you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That was my phone. Hallelujah. That's secondary. This is primary. Hallelujah. The word of God. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. If we say we have fellowship with him, I have fellowship with God, and I lie, we do not 
We, we do not the truth. If you're walking around lying, man of God, you don't. You are in darkness. You are in darkness. If we say we have fellowship with him and we're walking in darkness, we lie. We're liars. And we do not the truth. We don't have the truth. We're not walking in truth. Thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 2. Thank you, Sister Odom. Amen. 1 John 1 and 7. But if we in the, walk in the light, as he is the light, or in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, what does it do? It cleanses us from all sin. Thank you, Jesus. You better have the blood of Jesus applied to your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I told you the blood is available, but it does nothing if we don't apply it to our lives. Amen. It does nothing. Amen. The blood has already been shed. We, you know, he's already taken care of that. All we have to do is apply it to our lives. I hope you're getting something from this lesson. Amen. If you're getting some, press the like button. Press the love button. Show some love. Hallelujah. First John 1 and 8. If we say that we have no sin, amen, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. Hallelujah. So all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Even after being saved, we still have to repent. We still have to repent. After being saved, you still have to repent because something goes, you might say something, you might even think something, because if you think certain things without even doing it, it's already taking place in your heart. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Did I read that? We deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Amen. One and seven. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all the rest. That's in there twice. Thank you, Jesus. I make mistakes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Have mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Amen. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But you got to confess. You got to admit that you, that you did wrong. You got to admit that you have a problem. You got to admit it. Hallelujah. If you admit it, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But if you're walking around in pride, not admitting you're wrong, hallelujah, you're still in your sin. Hallelujah. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, I thank God for the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Exodus 12 and 7. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. It shall be for you a token. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smoke the land of Egypt. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I will pass over you. When he, when he sees the blood, the blood of Jesus applied to your life, he will pass over you. When he's pouring out wrath on the rest of the world. Hallelujah. He's going to pour out his wrath on this world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Another word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Ephes Ephesus. A, a, a in the, any Greek word before word in the gates what is actually being said. Amen. To cause to stand away, to release one's sins from the sinner. Thank you, Jesus. Forgiveness, remission. When our sins were remitted, when we were baptized in Jesus' name, our sins were taken away. Because that's what this root meaning of this word means, to release one's sins from the sinner. Thank you, Jesus. Remission, to remit. Our sins have been rem remitted, released from us. Amen. Uh-huh. Forgiveness, remission. This required Christ's sacrifice for uh Christ's sacrifice as punishment of sin. Amen. It required that. His sacrifice. Hence, the putting away of sin and the deliverance of the sinner from the power of sin. We've been delivered from the power of sin. Sin has no more. If you've been born again of the water and of the spirit, sin has no more power over you. Hallelujah. Just say no, not a slogan. Just say no, hallelujah. The adversary comes to tempt you. Just say no, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Appeal to the blood, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Although not from, uh, from his presence, amen, not from the presence, which um, will come later after the resurrection when our very bodies will be redeemed. Amen. I told you, we, are, we were saved initially. We are being saved, and we will be saved because salvation is a process. Amen. It's a process. As we continue in him, we learn more and more about ourselves, and we through the epistles, we learn more and more about what God is not pleased with, habits that we, that we are, you know, things we're doing. Amen. Amen. He lets us know through his word what he's not pleased with. Amen. So you got to stick in the, stick with the scriptures. Stay in the word of God. Hallelujah. And as, so that's that process that we go through. Amen. But it, at the end, we will be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at all these references. Check them. Amen. I'm not making this up. And right in the middle there, Acts 2.38. Hallelujah. Acts 5.31. Acts 10.43. Acts 13.38. Acts 26.18. Right in the middle, the book of Acts. That's where we learn how to be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. James 4 and 7. Thank you, Sister Odom. Amen. Of the 17 times Ephesus, amen, occurs in the New Testament, it is followed on 12 occasions by the word hum, uh, har, harmatia or, or har, harmation, right? which is sin. Harmatia is sin. Amen. So 12 of those 17 times where this word remission is, is, is used, 12 of them is followed by the word homashion, which is sins. Amen. Therefore, sins are the cords whereby man is bound away from God. Sin binds us away from God. But through salvation, when their blood is applied, we're loose from, from those cords that we were once bound by, and we're made, we've been reconciled to God. All right? Man became a slave of sin because of the fall of Adam. Amen. And thus, in his fallen state, is presented as a prisoner. Amen. A prisoner. We, we are no longer prisoners. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let me go on and finish here. Amen. Luke, in Luke 4.18, where the Lord Jesus Christ declared his ministry to earth, um, on earth, quoted Isaiah 61 and 1. Man is presented as a um, alchemist. You know, al alchemist. Anyway, you know the word. Well, perhaps not, but what it means is a prisoner of war. He's a prisoner of war, a captive. 
His captivity is due to the sin of Adam and to his own sin in that he continues in sinfulness. So not, it, it was not just what we incurred or what we inherited from Adam, but coming here, being born as a sinner, we continued in sin or sinfulness. Amen. God delivered us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There is power in the blood of Christ to cleanse the vilest sinner, and there is no lack in the efficacy of the atonement. However, the blood has no effect where it is not applied. Listen here. Again, however, the blood has no effect where it is not applied. Only through faith in and obedience to the gospel can the sinner receive the effects of the saving virtue of the blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You got to do something. I'm leaving it. The ball in your court. You must do something. You got to do something, sinner. If you don't know Jesus and the pardoning of your sins, you must be born again of the water and of the spirit. I told you, I've been saying throughout this lesson that it is available. The blood is available. But unless it's applied to your life, you gotta, you're still a sinner. You're still a sinner. Amen. The atonement is the theme of the Bible. It is the scarlet cord running through every page of God's Word. One out of every four, 44 verses in the New Testament speaks of the atonement. One out of every 44 verses? Thank you, Jesus. Speaks of the atonement? It, has, it was the, the subject of the conversation of Moses and Elijah on the Mount of Transfiguration. I talked about that the other day. In Luke chapter number 9, verse 30 and 31, read it. Amen. Moses and Elijah appeared, appeared with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. And the Bible says in those verses that they talked about Jesus' decease, his death at Calvary. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Luke 9, 30. And behold, there talked with him two men which were Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his decease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This, this gospel, this message is airtight. Hallelujah. It's airtight. Just believe it and apply it to your life. And you too can be saved from the wrath of God. The wrath that is to come. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus has, a, 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 he has provided salvation for us. Now it's up to you to apply it to your life. Hallelujah. And don't stop after you've been born again. You must continue in his word. He said, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, help us. Thank you, Jesus. I hope again that you got something from this lesson. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Sister Odom. We thank you here at End Down. We thank you for being with us. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For what you've done in our lives. And we thank you, all you are on this life, for being with us. For taking out of your precious time to be with us. To support New Direction Apostolic Ministries. We thank God. Hallelujah. I hope, hallelujah, you share this message with your friends, with your family, hallelujah, with your co-workers. Share this word, hallelujah. The Lord is at the door. We don't have a lot of time left. Share. Please share this video. Please, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Follow us on our YouTube channel, New Direction Apostolic Ministries. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I think we'll 
again, I'll, 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 I'll go there to our YouTube channel and I'll, I'll, I'll put that in our, in our, um, the link to our YouTube channel in the notes on Endam as well as Elder Odom. Amen. God bless you. God keep you as our prayer. Lord God, we thank you once again for another opportunity to have been in your presence, Lord God. We thank you for your blood. We thank you, Lord God, for the blood that you shed for us, Lord God. Lord, you shed your blood for us, and we won't forget it, Lord. We won't forget it. We'll remember, Lord. You shed your blood, Lord God. We thank you for your blood. Thank you, Lord God, for your blood. Have your way, Lord God, in the lives of your people, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to be what you're calling for, Lord God. Lord, help us to share, to share your word, hallelujah, with the people of God, with the people everywhere, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Remember the names that were called out in the beginning. We want, we're praying for the bereaved. We're praying for the sick, Lord God. We're praying, Lord God, for the lost, Lord God. We're praying for the backsliders, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, strengthen your people everywhere that are called by your name. Lord God, hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. We thank you. We praise you. And we honor you in the precious name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you again also for all your continued support. To New Directions Apostolic Ministries. Amen. God bless you. God bless you is our prayer. Amen. See you now.